Welcome to our Beginner's Guide to Core Cutting. This is a class I've taught here on YouTube before and in public libraries across the United States. But a lot has changed in the last year, so I wanted to do an updated video about how you can get started becoming a core cutter. What do you need to know? What questions do you need to ask? And giving you the basic tools to start this process. Now this is about getting started. Make sure to check out our other videos for more core cutting news, tips, tricks, and how to's. And if you have questions, every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube, I'm answering your core cutting related questions for about an hour on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. So leave a question here or visit us on YouTube to ask your question live and I'll do my best to answer it. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Helps us a lot because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we're doing. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV and still watch the show that you enjoy. Well, let's dive into this. Now, I often get to ask, what is core cutting? That's the number one question I get from new core cutters is what really is core cutting? What is it about? In short, core cutting is the idea of saving money on your TV bill, dumping those high cost cable or satellite plans, etc., and streaming your content, using an antenna, maybe getting some DVDs to, or D Blu-rays to supplement your streaming and saving money on TV, but still watching what you want to enjoy. Now we will talk about internet in this video, but for now we're gonna focus at the start on TV, and then we'll talk about how to save money on internet towards the end, and I'll even put a link to a post in the show notes on how to save money on home internet. Now why would you become a core cutter? Well, there's really three reasons people do it. Number one, by far the main reason, is to save money. Core cutters um, tell us on average they save about 100 bucks, according to our readers, every single month. Your amount may vary depending on how many services you want, how much you were paying when you started, and more. But there's other reasons. Control of your experience. No long-term contracts. If you're upset with your service, switch. You could very easily be on a different service tomorrow morning. No credit checks. No equipment rentals. And there's more programming choices. Some of the most popular shows on TV right now, Stranger Things and The Handmaid's Tale, don't air on cable. You have to get a streaming service to watch Stranger Things and The Handmaid's Tale. So really, if you're an anime fan, there's a service for you. If you're a sports fan, there's a service for you. There really is a ton of options out there for core cutters. That we'll cover in a little bit. So how much will you really save? Now, my readers say it's about 100 bucks a month, which lines up with what the Wall Street Journal says. According to the Wall Street Journal, the average core cutter saves $104 a month, which works out to about $1,200. $48 a year, and over 10 years, it adds up to tw over $12,000. That's real money. When my wife and I canceled cable, we had just had our daughter, we had car payments, we had student loans, we had rent. Canceling that $110 direct TV bill was a huge part of our plan to pay off our credit cards, pay off our cars, get a hold of our financial situation. And as you can see, $12,000 could go a long ways to, towards many people's student loans, car payments, and more. So how do you get started? So we know we can save money, we know the content's out there, but how do you get started? Well, the number one thing I wanna tell everybody here is to go slowly. Number one mistake people do is they watch this video, they call Comcast or Spectrum or AT&T and they say, hey, cancel my TV bill, and then they go and try to figure it out. When you cancel first and then you try to figure out how this all will work, I find many people overpay. They get the wrong service, they buy the wrong antenna, because they didn't do their research. So go slowly, do your research, and then cut the cord. When my wife and I did it, we set everything up. Then we unplugged the DirecTV box. We're like, we're gonna try this for a month. We're gonna try to see if this works. It took us about two weeks to really figure out where all of our shows were, where all of our programming was. And after two weeks, we never even looked at that DirecTV box. And after three weeks, we were, we were set. We were like, okay, we got this. We're watching everything we wanted to watch for half the price, goodbye DirecTV. So definitely keep that in mind, do your research, test this out, take advantage of the free trials, and go from there. So we've decided to do it, we're taking our time, let's get started. Number one thing I would recommend to everybody, even if you think you're going to get a streaming service like PlayStation View or DirecTV Now or YouTube TV that offers locals, um, I would highly recommend that you get an antenna. An antenna will give you for instance, in Dallas, where I did this um, presentation last time at a public library, 50 free over-the-air TV stations. At my home, 
I get 47 free over there TV stations in great HD. The reason this is important is not all local stations stream for free on things like YouTube TV, PlayStation View when you pay with your subscription. Plus, they're in great HD. Once you buy the antenna, you own it. If there's ever an internet outage or more or something affecting the streaming like a blackout, maybe there's an argument between your local stations and your TV owner, an antenna will give you your locals consistently. So I highly recommend that you check out getting an antenna, spend some time, research what you want, go to a website like antennaweb.org, that's antennaweb.org, enter your zip code, see what kind of channels you should get. And then from there you say, hey, I live 50 miles away from the nearest um, TV station. Maybe I need to go get a uh, 60 mile antenna, or maybe I'm only about five miles and maybe an indoor antenna will be right for me. Most people make a mistake with an antenna when they don't research it. If you live far from a transmitter, buying an indoor antenna may not be right for you. You may need a roof mounted outdoor antenna. The great thing is if you don't want to install that, Sling TV, even if you're not a subscriber, will send somebody to your home and install an outdoor antenna and sell you the antenna for 150 bucks. So for 150 bucks, you get the cost of the antenna plus the installation of the antenna on your home wired to your TV, you're all set. So really consider an antenna, I can't stress this enough, even if it's nothing more than a backup. And I will put a link in the show notes to that Sling TV installation option there. All right, so how much will an antenna cost you? Um, the average cost of locals is 12 bucks a month when it goes to your streaming service. The um, cost of Amazon's when we made this uh, highest rated indoor antenna was only 21 bucks. So in just two months, you're gonna be saving money with an antenna. And that will work out to be about $123 a year in savings on your antenna. Now, the $12 a month is a figure from last year. Sling TV's president, in a speech a while back, warned that they predict that antennas will cost, or uh, locals will cost, as much as $16 a month of your TV bill. So definitely keep that in mind. When you're paying that bill, a lot of that's going to locals you can get for free with an antenna. Can you get a DVR for your antenna? Yes, there are several great options to DVR your antenna, from the Air TV to the Tableau DVRs. There's also ones like the TiVo. If you're um, very familiar with the cable experience, you like TiVo, they do make it DVRs for your antennas. So just like with your cable box, with these DVRs, you can record your programming. And with like the Tableau or the Air TV network, the black one, you can stream your antenna to multiple devices. I can use my Tableau and my Air TV to watch my locals even when I'm not home, which is a great option there. So there you go, there is an antenna to get locals, but what about like cable networks? What about ESPN, the Disney Channel, etc.? The good news is there's many services out there from Sling TV starting at um, 25 bucks to services like YouTube TV and DirecTV Now at uh, $50. There's a wide range of services with Hulu and others and Fubo being at different price points. Now the, there's about eight major live TV streaming services. I will include a link in the show notes down below which will break down each channel um, is on what service. While most of them have the big ones like CNN and ESPN is on pretty much everything. Some of them don't, like Big Ten Network is on PlayStation View, but the Pac-12 Network is on Sling and they're not the other way around. So if you're a Big Ten fan, Sling TV may not be right for you. And if you're a Pac-12 fan, Sling TV may be perfect for you. So do your research, it doesn't take long, and the best part is they all offer a free trial of five or seven days. Strongly recommend that you take advantage of that free trial to see if this service right, is right for you before you pay. Don't sign up for all of them at once. Take advantage of the ability to, you know, try Sling TV this week and then Direct TV now the week after and so on. Take advantage of that. Now if you have an antenna, you may want to check out like Sling TV. They don't offer locals in most areas because they created their service to be about really people with antennas. So if you have an antenna, Sling TV will give you all those cable networks without it at 25. Remember when we were talking about the cost of your TV bill being at least 12 bucks for locals? Well, that's how Sling TV keeps their packages low. So check that out and um, see which one is right for you. Now, what about on demand? Now you probably already have some streaming services. Now, you, most cable subscribers also pay for a streaming service like Netflix or Amazon or Hulu. And so you 
you may want to take a moment take a stock of what you already have. There are many core cars too who don't get any live TV streaming services. They may say, hey, an antenna and Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, etc., is all I need. And that really can dramatically lower the cost of your TV bill. So definitely take advantage of what's out there and shop around. There are so many services. Hallmark movie service gives you nothing but Hallmark movies. Crunchyroll and uh, Funimation, I hope I'm saying that right, gives you nothing but anime. ESPN Plus gives you a ton of ESPN content that doesn't air on ESPN and more. So take advantage of what's out there. Do your research. Don't be afraid to rotate. For instance, HBO. You can subscribe to HBO through HBO Max or some of the live TV services offer them as add-ons also. The great thing about that is you can watch HBO when Game of Thrones is on. A lot of people subscribed, binge watched a ton of HBO content, and then canceled after Game of Thrones ended. And then maybe you switch over to Showtime or Stars or Epics and try out one of the other um, streaming services out there to binge watch through there. Maybe with CBS All Access when Star Trek was on Discovery. So don't be afraid to shop around. Don't be afraid to try different things and take stock of what you're already paying for. Do you have Amazon Prime because you're in Amazon Prime for shipping? Well, they have a lot of movies and TV shows. So take advantage of that. Now the big question is, okay, so I have the services I want. I can watch them on my phone, on my computer, etc. How do I watch them on my TV? Well, there's many great options to do that. Of course, you probably have heard of Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV. The Air TV is not only a DVR, but a streaming player also. So definitely take a look at these. The great thing about these devices is unlike when you have to pay for that cable box every single month, you can buy a Roku starting at 30 bucks or a Fire TV for $39 and own it for life. You're, you're not paying a monthly fee to use these devices. Don't be afraid to you know shop around, take a look. There really is no wrong answer now. With most major cord cutting services either on a device or coming to the device, for example, the Apple TV app will be coming to Roku and the Fire TV later this year. Um, you really, it comes down to personal opinion. Do you like the Roku remote better than the Fire TV remote? Do you like the Fire TV user interface better than the Roku one, etc.? Do your research. Um, I would recommend though spending a little bit extra than always buying the cheapest one. The cheapest one will work. But for instance, if you get like the Roku Stick Plus or the Fire TV Stick uh, 4K for 10 bucks more than the standard Fire TV Stick, you get 4K HDR and a much faster, powerful streaming player. So even if your TV isn't currently a 4K HDR, this means if you ever upgrade your TV, you won't need to upgrade your streaming player. So keep that in mind. Well, really quick, before we end this, I want to talk about internet. One of the biggest fears people have is paying more for internet. I find there's a few ways to do it. The, the on average, bundling your internet saves you 10 bucks, but you're agreeing to pay 100 some dollars for TV in order to save 10 bucks on your internet with your cable. On average, according to Fortune Magazine, the average cable TV subscriber pays $107, a little over that, every single month when you add in fees, taxes, etc. So shop around, look for your internet. Often the worst internet deal is when you're trying to downgrade, right? If you're saying, hey, I want to drop my TV and go internet only, they're going to give you the worst possible package. I found a little bit of a workaround that works most of the time. Even if you want to stay with your current provider for internet, shop around. If you have cable, know what DSL is offering. If you have DSL, know what cable is offering. Don't discount DSL. Now, I get it right off the bat. Somebody's going to say, Luke, I live in an area where DSL is awful. I do understand that that is true in some areas. But the vast majority of Americans, DSL is a great option. I, I get gigabyte DSL where I live, just as fast as my cable connection. So if you know what price they're offering for new customers, when you call your existing customer, um, your internet service, customer service line, and say, hey, I want to downgrade, and they give you an outrageous price, you say, well, your competitor is offering this for that speed. I find nine times out of ten, they'll match it. And if they don't, don't be afraid to switch. Shop around. There are new internet options rolling out. Fiber is rolling out. 5G is rolling out. Amazon and SpaceX are putting satellites in space right now with SpaceX SpaceX, excuse me, planning to offer high-speed internet from low Earth orbit late this year or early next year. Now, this will be a lot faster than older 
high-speed internet from space because the satellites would be much lower to, to the ground and there'd be a whole network of them instead of one. So keep that in mind. So shop around for internet, know the competition, keep your ears open for things like new internet options from space, wireless services like 5G, and fiber options. Because you may not have it now, but soon you probably will. So keep that in mind. Lastly, if you have more questions, again, don't be afraid to come here every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. We're live on YouTube. But we also have a Facebook group called Cord Cutting Tech Support. It has almost 60,000 members when I'm recording this. You can find a link to it in the show notes down below. Or visit us over at cordcuttersnews.com. And check out all the how-to guides, stories, beginner's guides there to help you get started with the world of cord cutting. Well, I hope this video helps. I hope this gives you a starting point to begin your journey to become a core cutter. Again, if this helped you, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It helps us a lot, and hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV. So thanks for watching. Do your research, take your time, and don't rush it. Take care, everybody.